there are many pertinent questions plaguing the minds of human beings. Namely, are we really alone in the universe? Can you really experience something objectively? What is reality? Are numbers real or do they simply describe relationships that necessarily exist in all structures? And why the hell is someone in time and Sam stepping on the Quran? Objectively. <laughs> Alright guys, let me explain to you how all this happened. In season 9, episode 7 of Fireman Sam, one of Fireman Sam's fireman friends, Elvis, is seen waddling along and then he slips over a bit of paper, which is innocent enough. He's clumsy. Clumsy Elvis. <laughs> no. Because the bit of paper that he slips over is the Quran. Why on earth is there a Quran on the floor in a fire station? Which is make believe, it's a cartoon fire station. Why on earth is that there? Unless an artist has purposely put it there, drawn it in. Like, is he trying to take the make or something? Why is he trying to brainwash little kids from an early age? That, that's just weird. Now some of you may be thinking, or oh, maybe it's a random bit of paper. So if you type in random bit of paper in Google Images, you do not get the Quran coming up. Quran is not a random bit of paper. The language of the Quran, Arabic, is the fifth most spoken language in the world. The Quran itself is the most printed book in the world with over 3 billion copies. Number two is the Bible with 2.5 billion copies. Now, some people may think, why do Muslims get bent out of shape when their book is put on the floor and stuff? It's just a bit of paper. But guys, it is not just a bit of paper to us. Let me give you an example. According to British law, according to the Currency and Banknotes Act, 1928, it is illegal to deface a banknote. That means you can't get a 5, 10, 20 pound note and start doodling on it in front of a copper. If a copper sees you, you're nicked mate. You're gonna be doing time. So uh, why are you in prison mate? Oh yeah, I stabbed someone. Why are you in prison? Oh yeah, I robbed a car. What about you? I doodled on a 5 pound note. Why? Because currency in this country is respected. Well, we believe the word of Allah. We believe the Quran is the word of Allah. We believe it's more valuable than a five pound note being doodled on. So that's the respect that we give the word of Allah, guys. Let's just say you get a letter from your beloved. Yeah, your beloved. <laughs> okay, calm down. He or she writes to you uh, after a long time with important information in there. Now, you know when people get notes from their beloved, they're like, <sighs> so they respect it. I imagine if someone's going, <sighs> and then someone takes it, puts it on the floor and stamps on it. Especially if it's a fireman with the giant fireman shoes. And guys, the Quran is from our beloved, Allah, who has created us, who maintains us, who sustains us, who we commit sins, yet he forgives us. He's the most forgiving. Objectively. Hi guys, so uh, yeah, Fireman Sam, Keep fighting fires and channel 5, stop slipping. Yeah? 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 <laughs> I'm just joking. No one watches channel 5. Yeah. <sighs> Till next time, guys. Salaamu Alaikum. Salaamu Alaikum, guys. Welcome to Smile to Jannah. How you guys doing? How's the family? Job okay? Yeah? Yeah? Alright, now we're done with the formalities. Let's begin.